Hey everyone, this is the Black TV Podcast, where we talk about all the news that matters. Hi, I'm your host, Gabriel Logan. Let's get this started on September 20th, 2018, at this 12.35 p.m. hour. Hey everyone, it's Thursday, and uh, that's Lifehouse, you and me. Um, I'm just going to do that for the time being, because... uh, you know, there's no law that says that you can't do that. I mean, if it's like less than 10, 15 seconds, you can use it in a podcast or a radio without um, paying like a licensing fee. Like if you want to use it as an opener or whatever. Um, the one I used is from a guy from Lafia. I forgot the name of the guy, um, but it's called Deja Vu. And it's a badass song. I like it a lot. It's an instrumental, like hip hop beat instrumental. And it's got a really cool kick ass sound to it. Um, but I have to plug it into my computer and I have like about 500 songs I need to transfer over to my iPhone success because, uh, apparently, um, you know, Apple screwed me over and, uh, I had to upgrade to iOS 12 and I can't go back. I tried. I had a update from September, um, like first or something. I tried and they wouldn't let me go back. So I didn't update, that was like three weeks ago and I know I didn't update. You know, iOS 12 just came out. So I'm a little annoyed with Apple. It's like, oh, okay, so I can go on my Mac mini and go back to Mavericks when I was on Sierra, but I can't do it with the phone. Eh, go fuck yourselves. Um, So I'm walking back, I was hanging out at the coffee shop, just walking around, I'm having a hard time with, uh, fucking people man <laughs> like uh you know you're fr- it's like they say they're your friends and they don't act like it so it kind of pisses me off so I just kind of you know I just if they need me they'll contact me because I'm done trying to be their friend and talk to them man I've, I've done everything so I'm the good person not them they're the bad people um and then that bitch that I dated, she fucking blocked me on everything. And, um, yeah, so, anyway, looks like someone was, uh, pulling out and they honked because they, uh, they were pulling out as that person was driving through, um, because technically those are the people that constantly goes through. That's why I would always have my car facing the street, not backwards, because backing out is more dangerous. I would rather have my car facing forward. Um, Anyway, so yeah, it's super dry today. It's super warm here. Um, I keep having bloody noses, man. That's the worst. Um, Also, I went to the LA County Fair last night. That was a lot of fun. Um, I don't know if any of you went or are going. Uh, It's a lot of fun. The deep fried cheesecake is fucking amazing. Um, I had deep fried Oreos. Those were good. Last year I had the deep fried cookie dough. Yeah, it wasn't, it wasn't that great. It wasn't as good as I thought it was. I had deep fried Snickers. I've had that before. That's good. Uh, But the consistency isn't as good as like a deep fried Twinkie or, or a cheesecake. Well, the reason is because it has the best of both worlds. You have that that breaded, crusty, flaky part, and then you have like a decadent, creamy filling in the middle. Whereas a Snickers, a Snickers is already chewy, and then you're just adding on to more chewy. So it just doesn't, I don't know, the consistency is a little off. Um, but I like taste testing. They also have a beautiful... Um, wine bar and a beer bar so you can like craft beer tasting and wine tasting but it's expensive as hell one beer is like ten dollars if you want craft beer it's like 15 um i went for happy hour so luckily i got beer for eight bucks um they had pink's hot dogs there which is phenomenal i had a sauerkraut like a polish dog and oh my fucking god it was good poland knows what's up i mean besides auschwitz i mean (laughs) i mean that's some good fucking shit holy holy fuck that was good that was like a really good dog 
And it was satisfying and it was filling. Like I was full just on that hot dog. And then my sister got this like funnel fries and that thing was fucking massive. I had that. That was good. Uh, my brother-in-law got a bunch of like deep fried stuff, but they ate more than I did. I also got a lobster sandwich. That was phenomenal, but that was like $21. So, I mean, yeah, they've got really good food there. If you're looking for healthy food, don't go to the fucking fair. <laughs> um, what I love about LA is you get a different culture of people. I mean, you get everybody. It's like going to the airport. I mean, you have, you know, Middle Easterns. You have, you know, people from Kenya. You have people from Tanzania. You have people from, you know, Beirut. You have people from Bangladesh. You have people from, you know, just all over. It's crazy. And a couple times I've met, like, locals, and I've met people from, you know, other parts of the world. Like, I met one guy from Oklahoma that came, um, you know. So it's kind of cool that you get to meet all these interesting people from all over. I mean, people literally come all over to the L.A. County Fair. It's pretty remarkable. And it's fun, you know, and they've got all those different rides. And um, I, I get a little worried seeing that G-Force ride because... Um, I don't know if anyone knows this, but a while ago, uh, uh, people, I think a person or two people died. They got ejected. The whole carriage came off and the person got ejected and it's a row of seats and you're spinning as it's turning. And it, it made me emotional when I watched it on Twitter because, because the news that stops the video as a person flies out but on Twitter, you actually see the person hit the ground. And yeah, your your heart stops when you see that. You feel terrible watching it. Because you just watched a person from their moment of living and dying instant. And the worst part is that person knew they were going to die. And that's even worse. I mean, it sucks when a person, you know, dies from natural causes. Like when they get old or... Or when they just die and there's no pain. But to know the feeling that you're going to die right then and there. It's like you're one last second to say something or, or you know. God, it's awful. It's horrible. It's like those movies. Like when a person's hanging on the cliff and they say, I love you or whatever. Or, or I'll see you. I'll see you again or something. And then they die. It's like the same thing. It's. Uh, it's hard. That's why it's hard for me to see that ride at the L.A. County Fair. Because that happened, like, I think somewhere in Ohio, Kentucky. One of those places. Um, but, yeah. But that was fun. Sorry to get, like, that. Sorry to make this podcast kind of sad right then and there. But, um, but yeah. Man, it's fucking warm today. But it's beautiful blue skies. The, the mountains look 3D. I mean, they look like they're right here. There's like no smog at all. Beautiful air quality. I mean, the air quality is better than Los Angeles. Um, I'm out here in the desert um, for the time being. Um, hanging out with some friends. And, uh, but yeah, the air quality is so much better. I even looked up on AccuWeather. It said that the air quality was good. Um, so yeah, it's really warm out here though. Uh, it's still beautiful though. So anyway, um, yeah, I'm just doing my podcast. I'll keep podcasting. Um, I do want to get it more professional instead of using the iPhone. I want to get like an actual mic and I'll do more editing and, you know, I piece together a little thing in iMovie, but I'm trying to figure out how to get that audio and I'm going to have to like open iTunes on my computer and throw that piece together I did it's kind of funny um you know I know Mark Marin has locked the gates from that movie I uh I took um what did I take from one movie I forgot what it was called I think knocked up but I could be wrong I, I don't remember I'm trying to play around to get like a signature sound bite to put in the beginning like he has locked the gates and he has like a kind of like a western song and then me it's like more like uh you know he's got that jewish cowboy flair <laughs> on his uh podcast and i'm trying to like do the the uh 
fat guy who loves Mr. Pip cast kind of thing going. So maybe maybe I'll throw the the Mr. Pip thing from a long time ago. I don't know. Anyway, thanks for listening, podcast. I'm gonna like write some music or something or do something different. I'm not sure. Um. Anyway, what the fuck is this guy doing? There's a a Korean truck in front of my house. Like you can't tell with those languages. Anyway, thanks for listening to the Block TV podcast. Uh, check us out on Facebook. Check us out on uh, Twitter. Check us out on uh, theblocktv.com with more news stories. I'll post some more stories later. Um, but thank you so much for listening. And uh, I'll keep podcasting because, I mean, who, uh, who doesn't enjoy doing something that you love and telling the world of how you feel? And, you know, it's kind of like therapy, I guess. And uh, I'll leave you with They Don't Care About Us by Michael Jackson.